Hi, I'm Dr. May Seibel, editor of My Menopause Magazine. I've just come back from Dallas, Texas at the annual meeting of the North American Menopause Society and I took the opportunity to do a video interview of a number of my colleagues about their latest research. Here's one of those videos now. First of all, let me just begin by asking you to state your name. Pauline Mackey. And tell me where you work. I'm a professor of psychiatry and psychology at the University of Illinois at Chicago. And I want to say I just heard Dr. Mackey and she was fantastic on talking about a subject that I think every woman wants to know about and that is something they are most worried about and that is menopause and your mind. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about hormones in your brain and how those uh, hormones that we worry about hot flashes with and so forth, how they have an impact on other aspects of our life. So 60% of women have complaints of memory problems as they transition through the menopause. And indeed, in Asian women, memory problems are the second most frequent complaint and actually are more prominent than vasomotor symptoms. So women often ask me, is there any reality to what I think is experiencing and in, in, I'm experiencing in my brain? And in fact, there is. So people have tracked memory performance in women as they transition through the menopause and have shown that in fact there are decreases on objective measures of cognitive testing. So for example, in memory tests. The good news for women though is that the largest of these studies showed that women bounce back. In other words, the memory symptoms are really within this window of the transition and then the brain adapts somehow and the memory problems are no longer apparent. So when you're first starting to go through menopause, because really it's the perimenopause, that little mm -hmm. window of time, that not so little for some women, mm -hmm. uh, is that when women are most vulnerable? Uh, women are most vulnerable during the periods of greatest fluctuations in estradiol and FSH, which are the two years before the final menstrual period and the two years after the final menstrual period. So right tied up into the actual time of your last menstrual period, right before and right after, are when you're most vulnerable. Yes. And so as women are entering the final parts of perimenopause, their symptoms are getting worse, mm -hmm. but they're not in menopause. What would you recommend them to do in terms of talking with their doctor about hormone therapy? The one symptom that might be related to memory problems in women, which again are their number one complaint, are vasomotor symptoms. Hot one, flashes. Hot flashes and night sweats. Now one doesn't see this relationship when one looks at self-reported hot flashes. But what we do is we hook women up to monitors that objectively monitor how many hot flashes she's having. Women actually underreport the number of hot flashes they have. And when you correlate the number of objective hot flashes that a woman has with her memory performance, you see a very strong relationship. The women who are having frequent objectively measured hot flashes are having worse memory performance. So if you're uh, transitioning through the menopause and you're having moderate to severe hot flashes, in addition to treating them because you think it might improve your quality of life, you may gain some memory benefits, not only through reduction in hot flashes, but also through direct effects of estrogen on the brain centers that underlie our ability to remember. So, bottom line on this is, if you are in the window of time just before your last period or just in the year or two after your last period, those are the times the estrogen will be best. And if you are going to take estrogen, it may also, if you have hot flashes, it may be beneficial for your memory. And right, right. Well. And it may be particularly beneficial for women with moderate to severe hot flashes. Some women transition through menopause without any problems and there's, there would be no rationale for treating her with estrogen. But if she's having these and motor symptoms, if these hot flashes are in fact moderate to severe, there is pretty good data to suggest that treating those will improve her memory. Thank you very much. You're welcome.